In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to create your own registration fields and my account fields for the user to add and complete during the registration and editing my account process. Let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. On the front end of your website, we have a registration page where the user would then create an account. By default, there are a couple of fields here, for example, username, email, password, etc. What I'm going to show you to do in this video tutorial is show you how to create new fields for this section that the user will then complete as part of the registration process and can then edit again under the My Account, My Details, and My Account Details section. So, to do this and to create new fields, we go into the admin area of your Premium Press theme under your Theme Options and the Members tab. Now, on the top right, we have this Custom Profile Fields. And this is a section in the video tutorial that I'm going to show you how to create new fields. So the first thing we do is add a new field. And we do this by simply clicking on this add new field. Now there's no limitation in our themes to how many fields you create. So you can create as many as you like. So let's just create a new field and we'll call it nickname. Actually we'll call it what is your nickname. So basically the concept here is you ask questions from the user who then input the questions and it allows you to build a bigger profile of who is registering and creating accounts on your website. Now once we've added this caption we'll click on save changes. Once we've saved the changes what's happened is the system has registered this new field to the users of your website and given it a database key. And basically this is just a unique key that identifies this field within your database. If we click on show hide options, we now have a number of new options that allow us to set up this new field. So let me take you through what they are. We have field title only. What this means is rather than having a input box, so if I go back to the registration page, rather than having say for example a username and allowing the user to input we can set it to be a title so it could be this account login details instead and that allows us to separate some of the fields into smaller groups making it easy for the user to fill out during the registration process. The next one is the registration page so what we can do here is we can um, choose which fields we want to be displayed on the registration page and which ones we want to be on the my account page. Sometimes, for example, you might be asking sensitive information that you only want to get during the registration. For example, maybe a telephone number. You might not want to ask that information again once the user has signed up. There are, another example might be, um, who referred me to this website? So you might ask that on the registration page, but you might not want to ask that again on the My Account page. So you simply tick the ones that are, more, that are appropriate to the field you're creating. So let me give you an example here then. If I wanted to use um, this as a title field, I just click on field title only and click on save changes. If I went back to my registration page, you'll notice there's nothing been added. If I go back to my admin again, now I can select the registration page, which means I'm now telling the system that it's a field title only and it's only going to be displayed on the registration page. So if I click on save again, refresh the page, You'll notice now it's created this new title, what is your nickname, and it's added the same number count, one, two, three. So basically it's allowing you to add new fields um, in smaller groups. If I go back to the admin again, we can now add a new field. And maybe I want to ask and prompt the user to input the nickname. So I could type in um, enter nickname. Save changes and I can go through and edit the field. So I will simply click on registration page. If I wanted any default values or um, to choose the order I can do. The other element here is this field type. So it's, now you're going to be saying, okay, so I want the user to enter their unique nickname, so what type of field is it? Now obviously if I'm prompting the user to enter information, it's best to keep it as a text box or text area. And basically the difference being a text box is a smaller version of a text area. So if you're asking the user to input a lot of information, such as a description, as we have on here, then this is a text area. If you want a smaller bit of information, as like first name and last name, these are, these are just text boxes. 
so I would leave it as a text box. A default value would be a value that's added to the field when it's initially loaded. So if I was going to say, for example, ask for a website address, I might want to put a default value of, of HTTP so that the users are um, aware that I want them to fill out the whole website address rather than just put www. And the last one in the admin area is, is the display order. And this allows you to set the display order for your um, fields on your website. So I can leave these blank and click on save changes. I go back to my registration page, give it a refresh, and now we have this new field under this new headline. So I've got this headline or this group box called what is your nickname and then I, the user can then enter the nickname into this field here. So in the admin area to, to identify the different ones I've, I've changed the color. So we've got this blue one for the actual title and then the green one for the fields. And that way obviously when you create lots of different fields and lots of different captions you can quickly scroll down to see which ones belong to which um, groups. Now obviously at the moment I've only put this to be displayed on the registration page. So if I go to my account area you'll notice there's nothing available yet on my account page. If however I decide that I want it on the account page as well I can turn on, just tick the box, tick the box again, click on save refresh the account page and you'll notice now that the as part of the account page this new section has been added here as well so the user can then fill out some of the information on the registration page and come back at a later date if they want to fill out the details within their account so that's the basic concept of creating custom profile fields for your premium press website